this here's another impromptu video so we're going to look at Abigail brand and also while we're at it we're gonna go from from where I'm at to 1200 so I think I'm at like 500 points so I've been playing obviously off, off camera and I've been retaliated on by uh, by four star characters so uh, yeah I guess I'm gonna be mean for a while so here's here's some five stars here but first we look at Abigail Brand and then we're gonna get into the fight so the one thing I've noticed about Abigail Brand like she works well with repeater tile users so people of the mindset like Jim Hammond Human Torch oh my goodness why is the why was the lizard slipping from my brain but someone like the lizard someone like Monica Rambo like any or even or even three star blade someone that has you know very short repeater tiles that can constantly trigger each each tone each turn on the board or someone like magic like she's another person that that will uh, benefit from the repeater tiles just anybody that that can put a repeater tile that doesn't use any of the col colors that she that she uses i know lizard lizard and magic both use it on purple but once you get their tiles up on the board it's more of a set it and forget it all right so our peak performance, we're going to look at this here at level 5, so she deals damage, She then you choose a basic tile to become a 2 turn repeater, a fortified repeater tile that destroys AP in whatever the chosen color is, and then once per turn, when a friendly countdown repeater tile reaches zero, destroy one enemy AP and the enemy team's strongest color. Again, I can see how some people were were kind of sour against that. That event, you know, the whole destroying one AP and the enemy's strongest color, because you know, there's, there's a few characters who don't use the strongest color, like Okoye. Like her strongest color is black. That's a dead color. Or someone like Oh my goodness, and I was just using him earlier today. Red Hulk. Red Hulk uses red. Alright, Burn Notice, you know, which is the name of a of a TV show way back in the day on the USA network. Creates a two term repeater tile. And it also creates two attack tiles on the board. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else at level five. And then that repeater tile removes a strike attack or protect tile of the enemies and then creates a strike, uh, an attack tile. And then here at level five, you know, the tile becomes fortified and then still does the same thing. And then brand loyalty. This one here costs costs five AP in yellow. Uh, creates a two turn fortified repeater or fortified countdown tile that reduces another friendly repeater or countdown tile to zero. And so you don't really get to choose the repeater tile that drops down to zero or the countdown tile that drops to zero is just completely random. And then the passive portion up to three times per turn when a friendly countdown or repeater tile reaches zero then your team gains a burst of health which you know for some characters that's cool other characters not so much all right now again i'm just i'm just clearing out my retaliations uh like, yeah, if i was using a four star version of this team team if I was you know completely trying to neutralize it and force our land first person taking out his blade and and trying to keep as many red tiles as I can off the board 
the reason behind that. He creates the strike tiles, and that's that's no good. trying to do his little hive mind. So I kind of wish I'd have had some music going on right about now instead of hearing the, the Marvel Puzzle Quest stuff, but eh. Yeah, it's like turning on Spotify. And plus two, the music that I was currently listening to, well, it'll probably get, it'll probably get copyrighted copyright struck anyway you know this person here they use using magic again for the whole computer tile thing and then here's Polaris and you're like oh man Polaris Polaris like oh my gosh will you actually show us how to beat Polaris yeah <laughs> use a yeah use a boosted uh, boosted five star but no nah, all, all jokes aside though Polaris isn't 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 bad 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 the thing you have to be mindful of is not to have special tiles on the board like if she has special tiles special tiles on the board well that's going to be uh more of, an, of a nuisance or a headache and plus two you know if you have a character that can that can't be stunned you know that's always a good thing too I'm just trying to clear out uh, some of the the guys and gals that have less than 50. There, okay, there we go. Uh, we'll go with this guy here first. This has got Shang Chi. Uh, for this team here, again, you want to leave four really for last. Take out Shang Chi first. As you can see, he can hit pretty hard, but. If he doesn't have any purples to match, well, well, he'll, well he goes out pretty quick, see? And the reason why I say the four last is even though, you know, his moves do kind of hit hard, you, you should have more than enough ability points to tank him out. Like right here. I hit this, this gravitational forces. Hit that prime notice. Again, that Abigail stay out in front. And then even if he did use his red ability again, it's, it's at least going to be against the loner. And... No, no must, no fuss. Again, Shang-Chi team. Again, always take out him first, because, you know, any cascades that, that Shang-Chi could potentially have, those that, you know, tend to be, you know, kind of, what's the word I want to use? kind of bad, so. Quick performance on green. We'll save, save burn notice. Uh, a little bit later, cause I want to keep, keep uh, old, old Thor stunned. Uh, now peak performance on red. And now the fun shall begin. Well, it was going to begin, but still. Not like you can't go and uh, can't get stunned. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I needed that sneeze. 
And the main thing, you know, in, in PvPs, you always want to try and use use your boosted characters and thank you for the three points. Even though this is a fight I know I can win, try and skip it. Here this is a team like a lot of folks have trouble with uh with with the Scarlet Witch. Um and Shang Chi. Main thing you want to do Target Scarlet Witch first, and then you want to get rid of her repeater tile as quick as you can. Because as you can see, that's pairing well with with Abigail Brand. Alright, now, now that's gone. At least that's on, on the color I can somewhat get rid of. And now here's where the fun sort of kind of begins. Now I gotta try and... Try and get some... Get some tiles to get matched away bring that down we'll end up matching her repeater tile regrettably uh, maybe actually no 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 because I want to keep my combo points up so match this color hair. The reason why keep Hulkbuster ready for overdrive. Let's let's maximize the amount of damage we're about to do. Don't want to accidentally hit repulsor punch. Oh no 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 I'll I'll be uh I'll be a sad man then Uh, drop don't drop that dare down. We'll ma end up matching that. You'll see. You'll see how and why in a minute. Well, actually, no, 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 no. All right. Now we'll start to to get the tiles how I want them to go. Is that no must, no fuss there? That's again, you can do that there against any any one of the team. Like she she's a threat, but she's not as much of a threat as people say that she is, that's a skip even though I know I can win. This one here, again, you gotta bring in your gotta bring in your boosted characters. I'm gonna boost this way. Person I'm checking out first is Black Bolt because he he gives out free damage if there's enough of those charge tiles on the board and I kind of don't want to match that because that gives it a match five so all right fire that power off that ultron get up in front take like a little bit of damage Because again, Abigail Brand doesn't really matter because she's not gonna, not gonna do too many things that are going to hurt us in the long run. Because again, you want to get rid of, get rid of their characters first. Because again, loners aren't gonna do too much damage against you, especially if you have 
you know, fully equipped. Five star champions. Uh, let's see here. Blue, even though y'all could probably use green as well. I'll match blue to prevent y'all from getting blue. That hurts just a, just a tad. Oh, as much as I want to use that ability. Save it off just in case, you know, you need it for Archangel, but they stun. Oh no, whatever will I do? I can't match green. And then, boom, wipe around. Now we'll probably need to heal Ultron, depending upon who I have to fight off against. Uh, that's a skip, even though I know I can win. Okay, that's a victory, but again, gotta kill Ultron. And here, again, same thing with Black Bolt. Get rid of Black Bolt first, because again, those, those extra ticks of damage that he gives just for those. Oh my goodness. Nice cascade, but for the amounts of those charge tiles. Energy beams, it hurts a little, but... Yeah, I think that's now nah, I want to charge up the red. I'll I'll either let the AI hey, get rid of the repeater tile or yeah. All right, energy beams. Let Abigail do her thing. All right, let's see here. What color don't I want you to have? Uh, red. Because there's nothing I can do about nothing I can do about the black. That's already about to happen. Archangel, time for you to uh, go to sleep for a while, my man. As much as I didn't want him to go to sleep. Uh, more energy beams. Ultron's going to survive this here, it'd be, uh, nah, he's not surviving this. Yeah, I'm dead. Because, just, just because of the sheer match of the, of the tiles, and, and all that there, yeah. Again, sorry if I lost, because, again, Got plenty of health packs. Got plenty of opportunities to heal. Um, here, again, we'll take Ultron out first because, again, he can self replicate. Saying the idea behind Noel is to, you know, to have the self replication with 
with Ultron's tiles and now you're gonna be able to you know consistently use Ultron's hive mind and then they're gonna always be doing damage each turn with with null so see there's the permanent damage there Gravitational force. Abigail's gonna be pretty much dead after this turn here, so not much I can do except for hope her death isn't in vain. stunned for two turns so that's a little bit of free damage for me but I gotta I had to chew through almost a hundred thousand health with uh, with null so that's that's at least well I was gonna say at least start the process but mm, that's not gonna be happening Oh man, that's actually a pretty solid, solid team now. The Ultron and Null, because again, you got a lot of health to chew through, so. Yeah, well, again, only worth eight points. You know, I took an eight point loss. Again, it isn't gonna, isn't gonna affect us too much. Oh, well that's him again. Well, you know what? Let's get our revenge, actually, shall we? Keep these two here on deck. Bring out Shang Chi and I'll bring out Hulkbuster. But this time, what I want to do is I want to boost more into my red. Again, with him being boosted. Oh man. for two against this guy here. Long will retreat then. Again, I, I I don't mind I don't mind these losses. Shang I'll eventually uh bring you bring you back into the fold. Oh target old old black bolt over here. gonna generate me a little bit of black which is always a good thing generate blue now angle of attack stun him now we don't have to worry about any any of that retaliatory damage done thanks to his his charge tiles get him out the paint Now if I happen to see old if I, ah, if I happen to see that guy there again, well I know what to do. 
bring out my own Ultron Militant? Probably so. Um, I think here. Well, it's too late to, for purple, so I guess green. Really, like the only thing I could really block off, because can't really block off purple, because you already got purple already, already available. Still them a little bit, so yeah, we're just gonna be consistently putting out putting out strike tiles every other turn. So by the time she steals them, it'll be too late. Okay, perfect storm. Alright, then uh, Wanda, Wanda and uh, Okoye, again, this is a team you'll see, see uh, a lot of, simply because of the fact that, well, Wanda can reduce the amount of damage done, and Okoye gets the, uh, the damage amplified, so... Again, like I said, you just want to take you want to take Wanda out first. You take Wanda out first, then everything else will go along pretty well. But it requires you to get to get enough repeater tiles out. Well, your countdown tiles out, or or combo tiles up. Now we got the combo top. Oh, uh, no, we got one more turn. Spoke too soon. Oh man, I just need one more red. Here we go. Man, stop stealing my red AP. I really wish you would just stop stealing my red AP, but that's that's Abigail's power though. Alright, here we go. Now we can get started. I know it's I know it's like too little too late, but but yeah, we're about to get started. Alright, there's the vital balance. I could try and get rid of that repeater tile, but hmm, no, no, no. Let's go this way here, so that all, so that will drop down. I knew I was looking at the board a little bit, a little bit awkwardly. All right, I win. Pop that, get those, and really doesn't matter here. Like I said, and that's, and that was, that was again, one of the quote unquote meta teams right there, taken out, taken out with just a baby champion, Shang-Chi, and, and my boy, uh, Hulkbuster. 
uh, here, I'm gonna just roll with him again. I know Ultron has like a high, high, high AP pool, but... Only thing I need to do is I get my... Get myself started, get enough AP. Alright, final balance to get... To get that started. Oh. Now let's go this way. Alright, so that'll get rid of those. That'll slide down. And then we'll go here. Good cascade, Sean Cheap. Now we'll do Hulk Proof. And now we let the the endless cycle begin. Let's pop some heels. We'll eventually Let's see here, let's get rid of this tile and that tile. Because again, we still got plenty of vital balances left. Okay, the only thing though about Shang-Chi is like sometimes the fights with him take a little bit too long but but it's okay though 35 even though you had to fight i can win ah there's perfect storm again i you know what i'm gonna wait oh, i think i just fought you too great A 550 Colossus versus versus this here. All right, this is a challenge. Challenge accepted. I'll keep uh, Polaris there. Hulkbuster spawn. Again, first you gotta take out the Colossus. Alright, we'll get some heals. And I'll drop that there down. Uh, as much as I want to make the match 5. You gotta keep those combo pieces up. You gotta keep them up. I gotta heal here. Uh, pop brand loyalty off just in case. I probably shouldn't have popped it off now that I think. Oh no, that was actually fine. Alright, overdrive. Now. Alright. 
pop it this way. Colossus will probably be gone within the next few moves. Alright, yeah, that's the fight there. Because now. Now we got the uh, the hard part out of the way, which is the insurmountable wall of Colossus. The rest of this here is just getting everybody else out the paint. So again, there's your there's your proof right there that you know a baby champion Shang Chi can take out a, a you know a maxed out. Colossus, so again, you would think uh, taking out Kitty Pride. No, no, gotta take out, gotta take out Ultron here, and we're not gonna fire off any powers really until. Until we get, uh, we get Ultron gone, because I don't want Kitty for Peter's Child to be constantly going off. Or maybe Kitty Pride must go. Yeah, Kitty Pride must go. I just thought about it. Because once she gets her buffing going on and all Ultron's hive mind, yeah, no. Ooh, and that was and that was just the turn I was about to fire it off too. Trying to see, trying to see, trying to see how we're going to be able to best do this here. I waited too late. That's what that was. What? There's always... Oh, where there's a wheel, there is a way. I said, where there is a will, there is a way. But I've got to get rid of... I've got to get rid of those countdown tiles. I've got to. Or... Well, some of them will be gone, but then we're gonna... Gotta deal with them again. Because of the charge tiles. And then of course my AP got sapped too because of the repeater tile, so So anything that I kinda wanted to do, I really couldn't do. And so uh Yeah, we're pretty much done now. Uh. Maybe 
maybe I can potentially get it to steal black or or something. I know what okay next time if I see this dude here I know exactly now I know exactly what I'm gonna do Yeah, we're yeah, we were pretty much done. So it was just it's just literally fighting an uphill battle. That's literally what it is. So I'm gonna let Kitty finish me off, and I'm gonna go get me something to drink. Alrighty, I am back. As you see, yeah, I didn't take any any points from the defeat, but we did happen to get a retaliation, so So I'm gonna I'm gonna retaliate with the team that uh that attacked me, so Excuse me. I think we should have chestnut AP to fire off energy beams. Yeah, we will. Alright, Carol, you gotta go. Yeah, I don't want you gaining green anytime soon, so nope. Red you can have.
sitting here seriously free free purple AP every time that repeater tower goes off. Okay, cool. Sad we're just we're just chugging along here. Aha, uh -huh, there he is, old crazy wolfie. Alright. Time for me to go full tilt. I know it's a you know what? I know what is his what is his Ultron at? His Ultron is oh, his is a baby champ. Okay, well Well he may have the advantage in his uh in his uh what's his name? Uh no, but Nothing, nothing that my Noel can't get past. Literally. There we go. This is, yeah, this is a much better fight. Much better. Uh, Ultron, I don't want you to gain red, so. Or I should say, I'm gonna steal your red. Them gaining, gaining, gaining that red. Let's get burn notice off. Yeah, those things are happening. And that happens too. Just seems much, much better fight, much better fight. Ah, uh, you gotta pay what you owe in that AP tax too. So, yep, much better fight, much better fight. I'm like, why in the world was I struggling against this dude here? Anyway, all right, so I got a couple more fights left before I need to take. Ah, there's Samurai Japan. Yeah, now this is the dude that I, I really want to face off against here. Break out with my team. Oh, no wonder this is a 533. Oh, no, no wonder I wasn't getting past them. Okay. Uh, where's Sean? Where's, uh, Hulk Buster? Heal him up just a little bit. Uh, boost everything and then boost to red. Yeah, cause I'm like this. I'm like, why? Now, why in the world wasn't that getting through, getting through the team? And then, I, then I seen. I'm like, oh, just survive this turn, Sean. That's all I need you to do. All right, let's see. Drop the match five. And drop this top. Uh, as much as I don't want to leave, leave uh, what's the name tiles out? Critical tiles. I can't. At least I take the the match four, leaving me with a little bit of help. 
Let's see. One, two, three, four. And then drop that there down. There we go. All I need all I need to do is just to get started. That's it. Add some overdrive. Deadly hand. Vital balance. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, drop that there down. Hmm. Again, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just wasting time. Whoops. Seriously, that's the one that you can't do in PvP. You can't waste time. You can't waste time. I said, what I want to do is I want to get to... Ah, uh, well, we couldn't. Okay, there we go. We are uh, updated. No. No. Not just want you. No. Okay, well, we'll refight you. Okay, this okay, so I got two fights I can win here. Alright, here. Again, just the main thing you want to do is you want to get rid of America Chavez first. Because the critical tile damage that Okoye is gonna, you know, give out. Say just just because of the sheer match damage. Mm -mm. Nope, you get stunned. Enemy down, and again, try to minimize as many cascades as it is. All right, all right, and now, now I just need to finish off one fight. Just one fight is all I need. These guys here work beautifully. Like here now we're on a we're, we're literally on a race race against the clock to try to try to try to get our score in before before I am noticed in PvP. So let's fire off that. Fire this off. Gravitational force. Hopefully, in two turns, Thor will be will be out of here. If not, well, okay, cool. He's out of here in two turns. You're you're about to get ready to go to sleep. And then, if our score is right. I'll shield and I'll explain. Yep. Boom. All right. So let's let's shield. Player rank. All right. So let's explain everything that happened in PvP because we got. And luckily, this was an hour-long video. Sometimes it'll take me a little bit more all right so let's explain i know when i did the you know the tips and tricks video you know i didn't go into into full depth about the intricacies of pvp and whatnot all i told you was about you know watching people's scores and making sure you're hitting you know targets that are above or below your level and then also mention too that it's okay to lose in pvp that's the most important thing it's okay to lose in pvp and also use your boost as much as you can 
and try to be aware of the matches that you're making. Alright, so now once you get to a certain score, in my case it was around the 1100, 1100 score, what I try and, what I typically try to do is I'll try to shield around 1100, uh, 11, 11, 1150, 1160 or so. The reason why is so that I can find enough fights or a fight that has enough of a score so that I can, you know, be able to shield shield hop and what that means is I take my score and I'm shielded and nobody can hit me while I'm shielded but there are times where retaliations do happen when you are shielded the only thing that means is that the person attacked you before your shield actually activated I think that's the correct term. If it's not, again, forgive me. But what you want to do, I think, is once you're shielded, you always want to go to the leaderboard, the player rank. Again, you're not worried about if your score, where your score is at. The only thing you're worried about is if that shield is up. If the shield is up, that means you can, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, you want to go go get you something to drink or take a little bit of a breather or think you know rethink a strategy or two you know whatever the case might be but as you can see here as I as I'm shielded you know this is the person I was going to attack but but as you see you know you got folks that are worth 75 points and those are the points that you're looking for anything that's 75 like these guys and gals here you know they're up on the top of the leaderboards and if you win those fights there you'll get you'll get 75 points if not you know it'll it'll be zero but it won't it won't affect you too much if it's lower than 38 or 39 the score anyways they award the, the rating award then whenever you lose you're gonna take you're gonna take hits from from your opponent all right or I wouldn't say hits from your opponent but you're gonna you're gonna lose score more score than from you know the higher scores all right oh my goodness I'm trying to Clear up, clean up my ears, but it's really annoying. Anyway, uh, let me think here. Now, there are certain teams that players will put out where where it looks like, oh my God, you can't really beat those teams, like the Okoye and America Chavez. And those there, those are teams that are designed, designed to, to scare you off from hitting them. But they're really, really easy, really, really easy to defeat. Just so bring in your absolute best team. You know, make your matches and go from there. This team here, this is a, this is a team that you can, you can sort of kind of beat beat pretty effectively the main thing is you got to take out wanda first then archangel then abigail brandt but you don't want to make too many matches with cascades because then that's when wanda's retaliatory for peter tyler kick in and then as we've seen in the uh in the fights involving abigail brand you know her repeater tile kick in well, Scarlet Witch's repeater tile kick in, and then Abigail's will will kick in. I mean, well, Abigail's will kick in to where they they heal the uh, the team. So again, those are just a few things you want to keep in mind. Uh, also, too, 
you know, when you're climbing, just make sure that the teams you're hitting, like how, like how I fell to this person here, because I didn't, I didn't look to see how big their kitty prod was. So again, user error on my behalf. So, so I think that should be it. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to label this video here. I got to. I think I'm just labeled it uh, PvP PvP uh, climb to 1200 uh, feature an Abigail brand. Uh, and I know this here was like over over an hour or something long, but hopefully this video here, you know, it it taught you something in PvP. It showed you, hey, hey, you can, so you too can beat PvP or you know be able to. To withstand the challenges of PvP and not have to not have to worry too much about oh man I'm gonna get if I get defeated you know that's gonna set back progress no I'm not gonna set back any progress it's just it's just one of those things that you gotta you gotta you gotta take your lumps on it's like all of us took our lumps on PvP you know so. So just be just be aware, you know, these things do tend to happen. And as I level up my Polaris, my second Polaris in fact. Oh, okay, Spider-Man shards. Yeah. Yeah, let me level up this Polaris so I can get this uh, legendary token. I'll, I'll fiddle faddle with her off screen because I gotta remember how I I usually keep my Polaris 544. Yeah, because I wanted the extra damage. Yeah, because the four turn stun is, is good and then the extra damage, the particle accelerator, and then, you know. Yeah, again, just don't mind the 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 musings of a of a man who's rambling about Marvel Puzzle Quest too much or trying to get his roster straightened out. But anyway, that's gonna end this video here definitely. Um so I do all the YouTube stuff and if all of you enjoyed this video here, uh, just let me know in the comments. I'll catch you all later.